large island too with a home on it is surrounded in Canadian waters, and that the smaller island just ahead of that is surrounded in U.S. waters. So as we pass by here, you're going to see a bridge of only 42 feet long connecting those two islands. And I guess if all that is true, that would be one of the shortest international bridges in the world. So the Zamacon Island Group, it was once owned by Congressman Robert Rich of the Woolrich Knitting Mills in Pennsylvania. And he had a pretty good sense of humor. Instead of it being a hassle to him owning two islands, each in a different country, he considered it one of his greatest assets. When he would come up here in the summertime, his wife always followed him up. And that meant that the two of them were stuck in that home together on the island all summer long. So whenever she got to be too much for him, he would whistle for the dog, grab his favorite six pack, he would walk right across that bridge and just leave his wife in another country for a while. Uh, so we'll welcome you all back to the U.S. right now. We are in a section of the river called the Mud Flat. It's a pretty muddy, shallow, weedy section of the river, only about 12 feet deep. And I'm not going to make you look over the side of the boat because you probably don't trust us anymore, do you? Um, but if it was early in the morning, you would be able to see right down to the bottom here. Uh, but we've had quite a few tour boats, as you can see, travel through. So a lot of the muck and mud has been stirred up. So you probably wouldn't be able to see down to the bottom here. But because it is so shallow, it warms up faster than other sections of the river, making this a popular fishing spot. Uh, did you even talk about fish yet? No? So we have over 80 different types of fish. We have the perch, pike, pickerel, large and small, large and smallmouth bass, a walleye, and the freshwater sturgeon, just to name a few. What about wildlife? Did you talk about wildlife? Yeah? So chipmunks, squirrels, raccoons, snakes, uh, they all come out to the island. Did she tell you that last year we had to slow down our dinner boat because we had a family of deer that were swimming in front of us? Yeah, that was pretty cool. She wasn't with us that night, so maybe that's news to her too. I don't know. Did you know that, Geneva? No? I know you weren't here, so. Now you learned something on my steward too. Alright, here's Geneva. You'd rather listen to her anyway. all the wood and they cut it up into all big ports. They have it on the island waiting for the navigation season. Well, during the navigation season, they have kind of like a mini convenience store over there. They had a bed and breakfast. Uh, it's kind of like a general store as well. And they had a lending library. Well, the way the lending library works in this new way is that you pick up a book. I just remember, you pick up your book and you say, okay, and you start reading it. When you finish reading it, drop it off at the next closest lending library and pick up another book. So generally by the end of the navigation season, the books were at the original library. Pretty cool how that works. That's the last item that we're going to talk about right now before we head into Bolt Castle. So Bolt Castle, we're heading there. A couple things we want to go over. If you haven't listened to anything I've said on the trip, don't worry. But please do listen now. Bolt Castle is an optional stop. If you are not going to the castle, please do not get off the boat. We are not going to be there for more than five minutes. We are just going to be there long enough to let people off and let us go back on. So, going to the castle. The admission fee for adults is $8.50. For children, 6 to 12, is $6.00 and 5 and under is free. That's the admission. Well, how do you get back to the castle? Because we're going to drop you off at an island and we're just going to leave you there. You guys are going to get home on a shuttle known as the Uncle Sam 2. It is 2.30 right now. 2.45 is the next boat. What, uh, they leave every half an hour. 2.45, 3.15, 3.45, 4.15, 4.45, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 5.15, 
and on the correct slope, and you'll go back to the correct cross street. Sounds like a plan? You do not need a ticket. You don't need a stamp. You don't need a sticker. You just need a smiling face and just getting right back on any of the same boat. So you uh, made a good ride. So I hope you guys have a safe travel home wherever home may be. Enjoy your rest of the day in the Thousand Islands. Thank you. Beautiful out, and I'm dragging a sweater and a jacket. 